Uh, today I'm back in Monopoly game Mario Kart race for the high score which comes with Mario, Princess Peach, Luigi and Toe basically, basically stuff. and you can buy more characters for it. it's going to be out for a while but I want to see how it is a little different from the rest of the Monopoly games which is That it actually has new rules. Here are the characters. Game board. Rules. Cards. Whoa. Put that in the back. Oh no. Check out the code real quick. There's a cut out right there. Yeah, right, let's go with the first one. Oh. First one. Gotta be careful right there. Let's see what we got. We got go. Two coins. Mario Car Stadium. One. And water park one, and of course, I don't know what that one's supposed to be anymore. Let's see, what we got question block for the radio world. And let's see, what we got one coin, of course, three speed coin, star. Let's see, what we got another coin for that one, jail. This never changes. We've got two coins now for Mario Circuit, another four block, I guess. Screws. Tor Ho. And of course, now we have this the guy as the railroad, which is very interesting. We have Mission Star, Shy Guy Falls, free parking. So it's an airport for three, two, four, no question block, electric one, star, four, and let's see what we got here, number four. Of course, you got another train station tour, and the last two responsible is Bowser's Castle and Rainbow Row. And of course, we only have one and the Mario Kart thing, which shows how it is. Here we have the rules. See. Okay, so uh, and the game she wrote was rules a lot of crud. Okay, I'm not gonna read everything on this because it's gonna take a while. I'm just gonna show you, and here's the coins, of course, and there's banana right there. We have the cards, which was the main thing. She gives a clue how to play the game better. Okay. Mario Kart Stadium, Mario Kart Water Place. Well, wow, it doesn't have the pictures. It only has the symbol of the character there. Uh, uh, Irato Kart Super uh, Star Ability. You, you may drop up to five coins and move forward that many spaces. Follow the row of the space where you land. Okay, so you can use the start as you go further. And we have power up boost. All players drop one coin and give you one. Wow. All right, here's, Mar here's Mario's ability. Superstar ability is, well, I guess we get a superstar, we get coins. Collect three coins, then roll the, the number dice and move again. 
Follow the row of that space, all right? And for a power up boost, collect three coins or add up to three spaces to your row. And we got Peach's abilities, which <laughs> looks like you're just gonna attack instead. This power star ability is at the end of your turn, you may roll the power up dice again, complete the activity. And power uh, power up boost is choose any two players to drop three coins. There are Luigi's abilities, which is a banana. So, so superstar ability is you may move to the last expected un, un owned property and buy it or act, act, activate it. All right, and place a banana on one of your properties. Mm. So, Alright, let's see if we have Mario Kart on your turn. Here's these things. Power up abilities. Roll dice and do the following in order. <laughs> Roll the dice and do the following in, in any order. Move forward the number of space. Activate the ability on your power up dice. Choose to see if your character gets a boost. To if you land on on or pass go, flip over the grand prick card at the end of your turn. Power up abilities. So let's see what we got. Choose any player to drop three coins. It's the blue one. The player in front of you drops three coins. Right? All other players can drop one coin. After you move, place a banana anywhere in your path to force a player to choose. Stop there, all right. Collect three coins. Move, move, man. Okay, I don't get it. What do these ones have? Okay, character, see, points. Take the last expression and you show. Because I will have to read the damn thing. Oh wait, what the? These ones have something in the back. I can't believe I noticed that. that here's the character cards. Yeah, and here's these, which... No idea why these are different from those. These are the cups. Well, isn't there supposed to be a star one too? 30 points, 60 points. These over here in the back shows you Rainbow Row, 50 points. Hmm. There's a lot more in this game than I thought. Oh, wait. Uh, here's the dice. Apparently, there is one roll dice and attack dice. You get three coins, you get a green shell, banana, blue shell, lightning bolt, and coins, and coins. So, it explains these. On your turn, most of each player gets some of these. And on your turn, basically, three. Coins cost you down, down cost you three coins, down cost you one coin, and that doesn't cost you nothing, and that you get three coins. As for the characters, we have Mario. Very nice. Come on, show the camera better. Peach.
think there's a version of these guys in motorcycles now. Luigi, come on. There we go. Got Luigi. Pretty basic. Just basically in the same mold car, the character different with a different color. Alright, this one's a little different from the rest. If it wants to show it, come on, camera. As you can see, <laughs> the whole space pretty much cover. How can he see it when he's driving? <laughs> but it looks like it looks like uh, the car is molded but separate. Then it's painted the right color. Put a sticker on here. Yeah, this is a sticker. Just feel like a sticker. Then take the little card and glue it in there. Very little details of you know how they put it in there. Where's your the dice? This game is not, they call it Monopoly because it's just the same board as a Monopoly, but it's not even close they play on that board. See, flip over the top. Oh, I can read a little bit of these rules. Set up special the coins by value and place them with range of all players. Alright. Number two, put the Grand Prix cards face down in a normal order with Grand Prix 1 on top and place the, the pile there. Oh, so you do have to. And for cards. So I'm guessing these are the Grand Prix. So number one, the top, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same Rainbow War was supposed to be the star one. Okay, number three. This character wants to see. Place the title the deep card next to their matching board space. Oh uh, <laughs> well. So you need a lot of space, in other words you put these. Exactly on the on the four ones, alright. For place the banana tokens in a pile where all players can reach them. Alright. Number five. Each player chooses a character. Place your place your character place your chosen character token on goal. Place that character's car in front of you. Alright. Alright, number six is each player starts the game with five gold, co gold coins and one a uh, five gold coin and one uh, render card, a minor card. So that was what that was. These cards. Okay, that's a setup. What's different about this? I uh, know the coin of money, on there, right? The power up dice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The power of dice lets you activate an ability on your turn. Each character set is set is gets a set special boost when that character rolls a power up ability. The replaceable and choose that ability. Each see your character card for details. Uh, so. Yep, so as the stick toe has to roll a lightning bolt to activate this ability. Make sure you you're activate your power up ability and any special character boost before the next player rolls the dice or it's too late. Right. When you roll a spike shell, choose any players to drop three coins on their current space. If they're Princess Peach, you roll this you may choose any two players to drop a coin. So number three, number three this one is when you roll a green dice, the next player on the board from your position drops three coins on their current space. If player, if two players are die for the next player, choose one. Right, and the lightning one. So it says, 
when you roll a lightning heat bolt, all players drop one coin. If you're told you can roll this, all players drop one coin and give you one coin. Your ability. Alright, in the coin one, it says, when you roll a coin, collect three coins from the bank. If you're Mario, you roll this, collect three coins, or R, add up to three spaces to your row. So it's the ability. The banana one is the one that's a little more difficult. Mario starts go, Mario starts on go and rolls a five. So he can place a banana on any of highest level spaces, including go. If you're Luigi, you can roll a banana, place a banana on any of your spaces. Why does Mario get a little more extra treatment in that crud? Yeah, I don't get that one. It shouldn't be there. What happens when it reach a banana space? Alright. Yeah, let's see. When you reach a space with a banana, no matter who drops it, you must stop and cut out the activity on that space. That's why it's smart to place banana on the property you own. Alright. So why does it matter which dice I use first? Oh, so you can't roll both at the same time. You have to roll one at a time. In the extension below, Mario just rolls a 4 and a green shell. If you use the green shell first, Luigi will have to drop 3 coins on the space. When Mario moves, he can pick up the coins as it passes. If Mario moves and then uses the green shell, the shell will hit Princess Peach. Peach, Peach instead, and he cannot be able to pick mouse. So, which, basically, which, which roll you use first? Now, use one at a time, right? What if I run out of coins? Anytime other player uses a power ability that causes you to drop or give coins or when you need to pay rent, you must do so. If you do not have enough coins, you must sell property. Alright, same thing as a monopoly. Alright, so I get that basic stuff. Alright. I have the power up, of course, and all that. And here we have, of course. Yellow characters. We have Bowser, Shy Guy, Joshi, Talking Kong, Russ, Aaliyah, and Battle Mario, which I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of these. So I buy a whole bunch more options. So this is up to eight players. One, two, three, four, and they only gives you four. You can get more, but this thing is a little more complicated, especially with that. At least these things are two sided. Alright, that's the end of the video, and if I I don't know, I'm probably not going to record it and play this, it's going to be way too long, but I might get a whole bunch and I'll box them all of them and review their abilities, because that is the deal from right there. I guess see you next week, and I think I made this video a little too long.